is ABC Action News. Like I heard people like banging on the car window and stuff. It didn't look good though, and then it sank. All new at 11, a desperate race to pull two people out of a sinking van. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jamison Euler. This is video of that rescue that has since turned into a recovery operation tonight. Yeah. ABC Action News reporter Maricela Burgos live in Venice. Maricela, rescuers could not reach the people inside the van, right? They could not reach those people behind me. You see the van that they were inside. They were processing this scene out here, the police department, as well as the sheriff's office for several hours, and they're about to tow that van away. Authorities have not released the identities of the man and woman, and I have to tell you, I spoke to several witnesses who said everyone tried to help. I was just happened to be looking right there when the van started to go down. The white van caught my demise attention. It drove off the south jetty and then plummeted into the water. And it started drifting with the tide. People rushed to help. My coworker told me there's a car floating in the water, so I ran down. And Others jumped in from a boat. They were trying to did bang on the windows and that, and one tried to open the hatch. And one even got a small stone on a stone wall and tried to hit, but nothing happened. Authorities say two people were inside, a man and a woman. I thought they were going to get saved for sure because it was floating for a while, like all the way down the jetty, and then it just sank, and I was like... The strong current made it tricky at first for divers to find the van. Crews spent several hours trying to rescue the people. That rescue eventually turned into a recovery mission. Crews towed the van to Heigl Park. The man and the woman did not survive. Uh, yeah, it's horrible. Authorities say they are still investigating, and this park should be reopened fairly soon. Reporting live, Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News.